Hey guys, this is Leslie Ann Brunt and you're watching my episode. So this is like a crossover episode where in Build and Chill what we do is we have Legos, we're gonna build whatever we want with them, mm -hmm. we're gonna feature whatever inspires us, and then we are going to talk a little bit about, a little bit about music um, and different like movies and just kind of fun stuff. So. Yeah. Um, Let's go ahead and start with uh, Leslie Ann. Explain to us what you chose and why, if there's any reasoning behind it. If not, that's okay too. I feel like this helicopter spoke to me. Why <laughs> <laughs> was me, Leslie Ann? Yeah, why was probably, me? You know, I, oh my gosh, look, it pulls out. Ooh, this is this is not like the Legos we had when not I was born. No. That's saying. what I said. That's what I said when he first dumped them out. <laughs> so, but you know what's cool? Actually, it's probably why I have a cousin visiting from Cape Town, and she is 21 years old, and she's a pilot. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes, she will be flying you around the world in Boeing's one day, people. Good for her. That's awesome. Yeah, but like, so I have been very much engaged in airplane conversations while she's been visiting and this is no doubt why i have this in my hand right now it's fancy Amazing. it's very, very fancy. fancy i'm like how does this even <laughs> so <laughs> now that you showcase you can begin grabbing pieces we're going to talk to you okay. about your film career and tv career and okay. all of that music we just want to distract you yeah, really sure. it's kind of a fun thing nice to distract so now ella everyone yeah. this is ella she's a co-host of lip roll she works at valerie she works yeah. with us at il defonso Go ahead and tell us what you were on the show last time. This I is was, the same one. I was. Um, so I picked the yellow car. Of course. Um, I mean, that was so obvious, my, wasn't it? Yes. It's basically <laughs> the racer car version of my Sunshine Mobile, um, which I have at home. And I just think it's really cool. And I kind of like how it's seated up a little bit so I wouldn't have to like hit my head every time I got in the <laughs> door, like in most sports cars. So yeah, it's Love pretty it. cool. Nice. Yellow, except yellow. it's not all yellow. There it's is some yellow. black in Although there. I, I have say. Legos, so, so I may be adapt adapting this car a bit. So I chose the Batmobile because um, Leslie Ann was actually in Gotham. I was. Which is so you were in two different DC kind of universes. I played two different DC characters: Copperhead awesome. and Mazikeen. Oh. So Copperhead in the comic books is originally a male character, but in the Arkham video game, they made her female, and so people mm. really responded to that. Um, and yeah, I did an episode of her. And sadly, mm. I couldn't go back to the show because at the time when we launched, Gotham and Lucifer were back to back. Oh wow! Um, and yeah. so they were like, "Well, we can't have you really like on two shows." <laughs> like, hey, let me just swap my leather pants and tie my hair back and do another character. And but that would have been cool, though, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, it was fun. Another great cast, like exactly like Lucifer. Amazing people, so friendly, such a family. Yeah, I had a great time. Amazing. I think she would make a great Batgirl. Yeah, I'm just staring yeah. awesome. at her. Is there with any the superheroes that you would want to play and or just open to? Any more superheroes? Well? Oh, this is the first comic book. Like, I read the Lucifer comics because um, I didn't really grow up with comics in South Africa. But everyone, I you know, everyone's like Storm. You know, she's from mm. Africa. I'm from Africa. That would be awesome. Marvel's like kind of killing it in the movies right now, mm -hmm. but I feel like there's a DC's gonna step up. Well, like, and I think mm -hmm. DC on the TV kind of thing is. <laughs> killing it as yeah. well so i think i feel like when i think of dc right now i think of the video games like you mentioned yes i think of the tv series yeah and i think like there's so much good stuff happening yeah. on tv and obviously yeah. lucifer is a huge example of that so that's cool yeah so valerie what do we got what did you choose valerie I mean, is not the biggest into which is technically called lego, lego. There, I, I got comments that we shouldn't say legos the weed, yeah it's Le lego lego it's Delivering lego your bricks blunt. like so, like lego my ego exactly okay so what did you choose? Well, there was not a whole lot of thought that went into this, I have to be honest with you. Um, I just saw purple, really, and I just grabbed it because it's like my chakra energy color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love okay. I went from Hunter Green to somewhere rolling into my 40s. I started with the purple. So I love the purple. Um, I love speed, and I love, uh, unless someone else is driving, I don't like speed. Ella can attest to. Um, I like to be I like to be somewhat in control so I like the fact that it's got like little guns and I feel very protected I got my helmet with my flag um, I don't know it just looked cool it looked like a cool bad 
you know, yeah, lady I boss. I don't want to be in your blind spot when you're changing lanes with that car. So not. Yeah, no, this would be a bad blind, uh, bad blind spot. But it, it felt like a cool sort of lady boss feel. So I, yeah. I, I don't know. I loved it. And, and purple. I like it. That so, was it. <laughs> so now we'll kind of ask everyone about, the question is mainly like, if you could listen to any record on vinyl or what's your favorite record to listen on vinyl or kind of your favorite music kind of around there. So we'll start with you, Leslie Ann. Oh, my favorite record on vinyl. When's the last time I heard vinyl though? That's sad. But one that I have had on repeat recently in my car, which I loved when it first came out, it's, it's, um, is uh, A Seat at Your Table with Solange. Mm, oh. yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I've always just like dug her vibe and I know like, her sister's so talented and is is big, but like she just has this kind of soulful. They both do, but I don't know. Her take is just so different, mm-hmm. um, and her voice is quite unique too. Yeah, what voices would you gravitate towards listening to recently? Uh, well, I grew up on like R and B, jazz. You know, the Aretha Franklins, the I saw Anita Baker live. At, oh, um, Baker. <laughs> she sounded incredible. Did she? Yeah, I always wonder about that. Incredible. When you heard him live, and then Stevie Wonder came out. Oh, he did like a surprise. All I heard was the harmonica, and I'm like, Stevie's here. <laughs> Stevie, my friends were like, what is Stevie, 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 Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> lost my shit. Uh, um, I, love it, yeah. I like soulful. Like mm-hmm. I'm kind of drawn to soulful, really deeply emotional voices. I'm less of a pop kind of girl. Mm. Um, my son loves Little Dragons. Okay, like, yeah. He is into Timothy. Do you know them? Yeah. Like I uh, know um, um, Timothy plays that song. Yeah. My son is okay. like that is his jam. Amazing. Um, but we listen to kind of all sorts of music in our house. When you were singing as Maze, was yes. it to create a voice for her or just create a voice for yourself and let that come through for Maze? And I'm sure you, you two work that together in the studio a little bit, but I feel like. For me, it was to create, it was using what my voice was capable of at the moment, because I'm not a trained- You had um, your own sense of style when you started. I'm not a trained, um, you know, singer. Uh, So, and also we're limited with time. So it's like you have these amount of sessions to get it done and then we're gonna record it. But that being said, vulnerability was really important. But at the same time, um, there is, there is strength that is also associated associated with being vulnerable and so i wanted moments where yeah she was but she also once the song sort of got going she was able to kind of find that and Mm -hmm. end it you know in a way that i don't know she'd be uncertain how it would be received you know so that will she won't she yeah totally do you enjoy karaoke i do because it seems like it's kind of like a part of not only the show, but kind of what happens behind the scenes as well. Yeah, because I know we've, the cast have gone karaoke before. And what's your Definitely. song? I don't have a song. I'll just like pick what whatever's there. But I've done everything from um, uh, Rihanna's Man Down uh, to, um, you know, Elton John, Rocket Man. My favorite. By the way. John's in my book. Yeah, it's actually in my John book. John Legend's Ordinary People. I love yeah. that mm-hmm. one. You know, it's a great, like, if you can kind of, like, it's a great song because he sings it in a register that's, uh, I can do it. <laughs> it I was just going to say, <laughs> yeah, it's very accessible. Yes. But um, I fell in love with music with that song. When I lived in England, I would stand with a pencil in yes. my mirror and I would sing Rocket Man. And I didn't know what the song meant at the time because yeah. it's actually quite deep. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, but there was something about it that just made me so sad and yeah. melancholy, and I, I don't just—it made me feel something. Yeah, so I, get I that. used to. If I, I always wished that I had like a better voice because I was like, if I'm not going to be an actor, I want to be Whitney Houston. <laughs> <laughs> and I would do the same thing with the brush in my yeah. in my hand in front of my mirror. My mother would walk in and be like, "Okay, you're fine." <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you were, but you're fine. You're well, singing. you know, again, we always say it's a it's a muscle. It's like being an exactly. athlete. So you yeah. can train it. You can yeah. be. It doesn't take as yeah. long as like mm-hmm. a guitar, or piano, where your bass. Right. You already have your bass line. Your bass line is you can sing and you can carry a tune. You have a good ear and you have a good mm-hmm. tone. Well, my you know, you know what's beautiful. funny? My son, from a young age. He was humming Twinkle, Twinkle, and he would go up and down, and he knows where to... The registers. Say, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ooh, I might have a little singer on my hand here. Yeah. This will be fun. It's so cool yeah. to record kids' that. voices and hear their vocal tone and like yes. the textures that are there at a really young age, yeah. you know, and like to compare them to other kids. It's yeah. crazy. Yes, it's really I always wonder what the greats, like, 
you know, I guess we do have video footage of like, but I wondered what Aretha sounded like when she was like little. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, to hear that or like Stevie. different tone. Yeah. 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 I don't know, maybe or we even can, Elton. Maybe like, there are some archives of that. I know my sure, was just telling yeah. you before yeah, we started, a friend of mine is doing the biopic on her. Yes. Uh, so it'd be very interesting Ooh. to see if he got something that mm. we don't yeah. have. Yes. Yes. In the far yeah. back. I, was, I know we did this question before. What would be your karaoke song? So karaoke has always the bane of my existence, just like Valerie <laughs> says. So every time I go, because I think when you when you come from a singing background and you know I've gone through the whole range, kind of feel like you have to pull out the chops because everyone's like, oh, she's a singer, she can sing, and yeah. you're like, I just want to have fun and chill and drink my beer and. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but I think I always just kind of try to go for something a little bit more chill. Yeah. And um, or sometimes I'll just pull out a, like a Mary Poppins musical theater thing just to throw everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have sugar? Mary Poppins that's, on karaoke? That's no. what yeah. I sing in my car sometimes. The yeah. um the the Emily Emily Blunt. Blunt, Blunt yes. version. John, you're John. right. Yes. It's good to know you're bright. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just love all of those songs and I just I, I just said that because I just watched the M- Emily Blunt Mary Poppins. Did you like it? I liked it, but I think there was also that part of me that grew up with the other one and I felt you're like a it was a, it was it was a purist and I was like, but then there were really cool moments of this new one. I think so. that she I mean, when I look at the just the dancing and the animation oh. and everything, I was thinking about it from an actor's perspective mm-hmm. in terms of preparation. This is my week. Plane. Did you see? I'm it? really oh, impressed. You I got the yeah, Let her introduce it real quick. <laughs> yes, so I'm like really loving it. So you were very stealth. I didn't this is your building. plane, and what happens is you call 0800 <laughs> airplane weed, <laughs> and this plane will come to your house. <laughs> it's the canvas and copter. Drop a blunt at <laughs> your <laughs> door. Here it is. Here it is. There, is there a connection <laughs> to Harry Potter on top of that? And Harry Potter. <laughs> It yes. makes you go into a magical world. <laughs> I love that. That's, yeah. I'm really impressed. I'm That's loving really it. Cool. There you go. Okay, so we have time for like one more question. What are you watching on Netflix or any other streaming service right now? Ooh, I am about to catch up on Big Little Lies. Oh, yeah. I saw that. Definitely night. watching so The Handmaid's Tale. Definitely. Nice. That's great. Yes. Um, I, what did I see on Netflix? Oh, I finished the Wanda Sykes stand-up. Hilarious. Mm, I want to see that. Definitely mm-hmm. worth watching. Um, Stranger Things I finished. Oh, you oh, Stranger finished Things. Yet. They knocked yeah. us off of the top, like, binged, oh. the binge report. So we were number one for, like, seven oh, weeks, Lucifer. Dang. And then Stranger Things hit, and it was like, now we're number two. I'll, I'll start watching Lucifer share again. you guys share with you like the stats or anything because I know they're kind of secretive for some is, they are they are. still that way or I mean I guess to an extent like they are but you have the you know like the TV binge report is a good um, it's a good resource to see like where you're at and how you're doing I think part of the show too getting cancelled is like they were gonna we got all their new subscribers that was all we were gonna get you right. know mm-hmm. so it's you know five years is a good run and then you move on to something else but um but yeah, Stranger Things was. I feel like. Is it their final season? No, I don't know. I have never seen it. So. You've never seen it? I don't have a lot of time oh, to, you watch have to watch TV, it. so yeah. I'm very. It's really good. It's, I'm, an, I'm, I, I'm an 80s baby, so it like mm-hmm. took me back to just, you know, the music, the dress, yeah. the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Ella, That's do you awesome. want to show us your Lego piece? I see you have something. So I, I'm going to have to continue next time. Okay. But I decided I was going to make like... <laughs> to I, be continued <laughs> Legos. To be continued Legos. I found Valerie's, by the way. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Last time. Episode. This is what she built last She's time. She's really good at these abstract really art pieces. I feel Same like thing. they should like, be in like the Hammer <laughs> Museum or something. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm deciding I'm going to build a surprise um, Lego where there's it's this like, like Lego almost. inside and then I'm going to build the walls up but I have to do something really cool so this is not just like a cylinder it. like it's it. something cool but it's definitely the weed plane definitely I think tops the wow. surprise yeah. I'm just saying, I don't know nobody can yeah, top that holler at really your girl good. Matt Mercer <laughs> Matt Mercer and Mercer would be very impressed yeah. very impressed <laughs> yes they would I be love it. All right, brilliant. Valerie, go ahead and explain I mean, to us whatever we're looking at. Seriously, we don't even need to really go over this. <laughs> no, it is, it it's is a continuation. Nothing. It's a continuation of <laughs> what the I theme. did. So geometric. It's, um, it's a collection. Masterpiece <laughs> over here. Uh, this was always going to go on. It. Oh, there you go. It was my stairway to heaven, and yeah. now I've, I'm branching out. So I'm making it thicker. It's and getting more complex. You're getting closer to heaven. I don't know, guys. Now I mean, Menadil can get back to heaven. I'm always just so plugged into what we're talking about. I'm just trying to. I can't do. 
totally two things at once. I totally know. <laughs> She's like, Amanda Dill can get back to him. And I'm like, you Lucifer nerd. <laughs> She's a total Lucifer nerd. Yes. I am. <laughs> I, I, I will get you back on the binge on the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there she, you go. She, you know her line. I'm going to completely embarrass her now. She's going to kill me. I'm going to kill you. Uh, is, is anything that comes up now, she's like, no, I'll only do that for Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not Tom Ellis. So I'll only do it for Tom. So well, I, I decided I, I could be the yellow angel for season five. Please. please. You know, it's please. Like, you know, she can pitch the musical episode and we'll bring in a yellow angel. Well, the, funny, the, the cool thing about the show before we wrap up is that my, most people don't know, but my whole team, they're all musicians, like real musicians. I'll play in producers and whatever. And so it's cool to talk about, we like talking about music because yeah. we're all musicians, yeah. Yeah. Totally. but we all do other jobs as well. So yeah. it's kind of fun to include our, our, our yeah. team and with that. The music is actually the other character and it's one of our characters totally. in the show. That's it's a it. big, mm -hmm. like, you know, I mean, I have, uh, what is that app? Will you listen to the music? To oh, Shazam. Shazam! I've Shazam yeah. so many, so so many songs on our totally. on our own show because I'm like, what is that song? That yeah. you know, like the end of was it? Is it Hallelujah? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That's a great song for you, by the way. What is that song? Who, who does that? It was a Leonard, it was a Cohen. Leonard Cohen, yes. and then Jeff Buckley yeah. redid it, and now and every, it was on track. Track, and now everybody <laughs> yeah. on the planet's redone it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't remember who sings the one on Lucifer. The though. one on Lucifer is like a, the, that particular. I was like, "What is this song?" It was so deep and emotional. Yeah, listen to Jeff Buckley's version yeah. and Leonard oh, Cohen, yeah. and you know who also killed it was Katie Lang. Oh yeah, yeah. Those are great. Right. listen to Katie sing that song. It's like I can't breathe. Um, is it? <laughs> it's it's flight, so take, good. What is it? Take flight of the heavy. What is the song? Uh, I gotta find it. I gotta find mm -hmm. it. I'll show you. Next great time song for you, yeah. though. About it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for being yes. on Build and Chill, the Lip Roll crew, Yay. and Lizzie Brandt. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, awesome. <laughs>